Soul Land 229 Original Novel Dolo de Lu. Chapter 262 See God's Ability, Golden 13 Halberds TL by Bagelson It wasn't pleasant for Bibi Dong either. With a low roar, a layer of the Sea God's golden light flashed all over her, the original dark green light instantly dulled a moment, then recovered again. With a muffled grunt, she also retreated a step. Of course Bibi Dong wasn't forced back by Tang San's spirit power attack, but rather the blazing holy wound that pure Sea God's light gave her. This was the might of a true divine tool. Relying on the Sea God Trident Tang San held, even though Tang San was at a disadvantage in his first spirit ability collision with Bibi Dong because of lack of spirit power, but being able to beat back Bibi Dong was something he could be proud of. His assessment was correct, Bibi Dong had indeed already reached peak Doluo strength, her spirit power wasn't ranked 98, but rather 99. If there wasn't a portion of spirit power she didn't dare use at the moment, the current she would be even stronger than the Sea God Doluo. After all, this was dry land. Only, even though Bibi Dong was forced back, at the same time she also targeted Tang San's position. With abundant combat experience plus formidable strength, her death domain erupted at once, swiftly corroding Tang San's blue-silver domain. The two domains differed by at least one level, this was a difference in spirit power. Having lost the support of the slowing and gravity domains, Tang San's blue-silver domain's boundless nature quickly melted away. Without need of Bibi Dong's instructions, the four great title Doluo charged straight towards Tang San, guided by Bibi Dong's mental power. Facing five great powers, Tang San didn't have a trace of panic. Just like he said, he was no longer the Tang San from before. In his time on Sea God Island, he had truly matured, becoming one of the powers of the present era. Killing him wasn't that easy. As the successor chosen by a god, he possessed strength far beyond what his spirit power might indicate. Before the golden light from the Sea God Trident's attack had faded completely, it instead grew even more intense as Tang San infused it with Sea God's light. Countless golden lines of light flowed out from the Sea God Trident, and those giant blades grew transparent as crystal. With his left foot as axis, Tang San quickly spun one turn in place, his calves leading the thighs, then moving his waist, back, until finally the force reached his arms, and the in his hands 108 Jin heavy Sea God Trident flew out like a meteor chasing the moon directly towards those four title Doluo. The split second the Sea God Trident left his hands, Tang San's blue-silver domain instantly turned golden, and Bibi Dong's death domain was forcefully pushed back by the blue-silver domain mixed with the Sea God Trident's capability. Careful! Bibi Dong shouted, unable to halt the attack on Tang San. With a flash, she reached her four subordinates. She couldn't tolerate any more losses. The spider lances her arms had turned into instantly transformed, becoming two giant black sickles, meeting the Sea God Trident head-on. The four title Doluo weren't idiots either. Seeing her Imperial Majesty regard this suddenly appearing golden light so seriously, plus how the giant weapon instantly killed Ghost Doluo before, they immediately unhesitatingly released their single target attack abilities, focusing them all on attacking that glittering trident. Bibi Dong's arms transforming into giant sickles were actually the spirit bones of her left and right arms. These two bones had dropped from a hundred thousand year death spider emperor. One spirit beast producing two spirit bones could be said to be a unique occurrence. These two spirit bones were also one of her strongest killing moves. Now confronting the sea god trident, she didn't hesitate to use them. When comparing spirit power, Tang San of course wasn't Bibi Dong's opponent. Even so much that he was very far behind in spirits and spirit rings. But, he had one thing Bibi Dong lacked an advantage blessed by the heavens. That was the status of Sea God's successor. The sacred golden light he previously produced by relying on the Sea God Trident, Bibi Dong could block by relying on her formidable cultivation. But this Sea God Trident main attack wasn't so easy to resist. The Sea God Trident's own weight reached a terrifying 108,000 Jin, plus Tang San infusing it with spirit power and the Sea God's light, producing the main abilities of the Trident, Devil Breaking, Evil Breaking, Shattering, three effects emerged simultaneously. Even if Tang San still couldn't display its full might, this one all-out attack was still extremely frightening. A loud sound accompanied a sudden golden flash, the divine instrument's power shocking everyone present. The four title Doluo were thrown back practically simultaneously. The attacks they launched on the Sea God Trident only slowed it slightly, but also lead to the Sea God Trident's golden light becoming even more intense. The one who truly blocked the Sea God Trident was still Bibi Dong. The pitch-black giant sickles stiffly resisted the trident. B 
Bibi Dong's 99 ranks of spirit power erupted completely. But even so, she was still thrown back by the enormous force. The trident's devil breaking, evil breaking and shattering effects constantly blasted her body, and one after another, cracks swiftly spread across her sides. At this moment, Bibi Dong showed her true strength. She gave a furious roar, and the six spider lances on her back forcefully stabbed into the ground, her arms suddenly shook, and the two giant sickles simultaneously detonated, the violent explosion finally blocking the sea god trident's attack, and at the same time, the spider web on her forehead brightened again, traces of purple and green mixed energy flowing across her body. Bibi Dong's face revealed a painful expression, but her strength still abruptly amplified. With a sudden swing of her body, her hands retransformed into palms lifted up the sea god trident, immediately lifting it upwards, a purple-green stream of energy covered the trident, actually forcefully weakening the sea god's light by a lot. Maintaining the attack until now, Tang San was also practically exhausted. Breathe in deeply, his hands pulled, controlling crane catching Dra and launching. The sea god trident was barely more than a hundred jin to him, and propelled by the spirit power, it shot back towards Tang San. In the attack just now, Tang San could be said to have used all his strength, even more than when he faced his great-grandfather's attack. After all, right now his spirit power was already rank 85. To be able to force back five great powers with one attack could all be credited to the Sea God Trident. But, following along with the returning Sea God Trident was also malicious-looking Bibi Dong. At this moment, Tang San and Bibi Dong's domains had already disappeared. In a collision of the level just now, Tang San was unable to maintain his domain further, and Bibi Dong's death domain was directly broken by the effects of the Sea God Trident. She didn't need to recover? Tang San thought, seeing Bibi Dong lunge at him along with the Sea God Trident. His left hand pulled back, right hand pushing forward. In midair, the Sea God Trident suddenly turned sideways, directly whipping at Bibi Dong. Since Tang San could use the Clear Sky Hammer as a meteor hammer, he could naturally change the direction of the Sea God Trident in midair. The change was so sudden that even a power like Bibi Dong couldn't react to it. At first she wanted to grab the trident, seizing this divine tool, and therefore she chased after extremely closely. Now the sea god trident suddenly turned, whipping her, and she only had time to raise her hands to block. With a thump, Bibi Dong was blasted away like a cannonball, and the sea god trident accelerated again, returning to Tang San's hand. Tang San knew this hadn't hurt Bibi Dong. Her spirit power was too formidable, and when the trident hit her body she had easily dissolved the force. It seemed like she had been beaten very far, but the already darkened sea god trident no longer had the three breaking powers, and just weight alone wasn't enough to cause this lord supreme pontiff any true harm. With the sea god trident in hand, Tang San didn't dare delay further, and suddenly restrained his aura. A teleportation brought him a hundred meters back, and the vast sea ocean shroud started simultaneously, covering his body and entering stealth mode. He quickly moved aside. He had already been exposed, and with Bibi Dong's strength and formidable domain, she absolutely wouldn't give him the chance to use boundless nature to hide again. Even if he could fully use the blue-silver domain, just his strength couldn't resist Bibi Dong's domain corrosion. If he didn't leave now, he might not have another chance. With Tang San's intelligence, he didn't immediately move away, but rather first moved sideways, just in time to evade the long-range attacks launched by the four title Doluo and then increased his distance. Bibi Dong really was about to go insane. With the hundred thousand year spirit rings that were practically in her hands removed like this, how could she stay calm? Tang San's blue silver domain gave her a familiar yet unfamiliar feeling. It felt like that kid from back then, but how could he have grown this strong within a few years? Even if it wasn't enough to fight her, his domain and mental strength wasn't weaker than hers. All he lacked was spirit power. Alone toying with six title Doluo, even killing one, you couldn't find powers like that in the entire continent. Moreover, he had stolen 200,000 year spirit rings. The 200,000 year spirit rings relating to the completion of Bibi Dong's second spirit. Furious, Bibi Dong raised a piercing cry towards the sky, the spider web mark on her forehead suddenly flourishing, gaudy green light violently shooting out. The spider web instantly transformed into a green eye, and a dim green light spit out from within, swiftly sweeping in front of her. Bibi Dong's full mental strength seemed focused on this one sweep. In an instant, everywhere the green light swept was painted in a faint green luster, and where Tang San was hiding with the vast sea barrier appeared a faint green silhouette. Bibi Dong's mental immunity skull bone spirit ability, true world, launched. 
Bibi Dong absolutely wouldn't use this Skull Spirit Bone ability lightly, because it consumed an enormous amount of mental strength, requiring a full third of Bibi Dong's mental power to use. Previously her mental power had always been locked on the two great divine beasts, so how could she casually use it? Now she couldn't pay attention to that. If she let Tang San escape, she might really never have another chance at those two spirit beasts, and so used this powerful spirit bone ability regardless of consumption. Mental Immunity Skull Spirit Bone Ability True World, Effect, Immunity to Illusions and Charm, Seeing the Truth. Any hallucination type abilities lost all effects under its light. Somewhat similar to Tang San's Purple Demon Eye, but without its attack abilities. The split second he was swept by that dim green light, Tang San became aware something was wrong. He discovered that he actually couldn't sever Bibi Dong's mental strength again. Even though that green light didn't have any offensive power, it stuck as closely to him as a bone maggot. And at the same time as Tang San's silhouette appeared, Bibi Dong took the initiative, bringing the four titled Doluo to lunge at him. Behind her, six purple wings as thin as a cicada's broke out, instantly bringing her speed to a terrifying level. This was another of Bibi Dong's spirit bones, and just like Tang San's eight spider lances an external spirit bone, called six purple light wings, coming from a spirit beast called Purple Winged Spider Emperor, gave the ability to fly, could evolve. In order to catch Tang San, always paying attention to hiding her strength Bibi Dong used two major spirit bone abilities. This showed what level her loathing for Tang San had reached. And at the same time, Bibi Dong's body turned a dim green in midair. Her whole body exploded with green mist, fully using the seventh spirit ability, Soul Eating Spider Emperor Avatar. This was the spirit avatar granted by a hundred thousand year spirit ring. The two originally shattered giant sickles appeared once again, dim green light released, leaving behind an afterimage she instantly appeared behind Tang San. Bibi Dong already hated Tang San to the bone, and even though she couldn't kill him right now in order to learn the whereabouts of the two great divine beasts from him, she would still seriously injure him first to vent. Bibi Dong really was very fast, and moreover, at the same time as she pursued, her death domain already started back up, instantly enveloping Tang San. The terrifying toxicity and powerful weakening effect all landed on him. This was the difference in strength. The powerful abilities Tang San had used in succession still hadn't recovered, but Bibi Dong could still continuously use her own domain and abilities. The two sickles glinted with green light and cut straight at Tang San's shoulders. Very clearly, she was going to first remove his arms. Just at this moment, the sea god trident in Tang San's hands brightened yet again. Bibi Dong's true world had really launched too suddenly, making Tang San who originally had full confidence in being able to escape, turn pale with fright. This was also why spirit masters would typically hide their abilities. Because of unfamiliarity with Bibi Dong's abilities, Tang San had in this instant fallen from having the advantage to disadvantage. And it was a fatal disadvantage. In such a moment, Tang San's battle cultivation and many years of hardships on Sea God Island were revealed. Bibi Dong was undoubtedly the fastest, charging up like a shooting star, but the other few title Doluo behind her were also extremely fast. As long as Tang San collided with Bibi Dong's ability once, they would be able to catch up. Tang San clearly understood that his only chance was in that instant before the four title Doluo reached them. If he was surrounded by five people, maybe only someone with his great-grandfather's strength plus a divine tool would be able to leave. Therefore, Tang San didn't hesitate to pour the Sea God's light into the Sea God Trident for a third time, and it was again washed with golden color. This divine tool was his only advantage when facing Bibi Dong. But he didn't swing the trident towards her, but on the contrary stabbed it into the ground in front of him, and at the same time he used Ghost Shadow Perplexing Track, shifting behind it in a flash. If Bibi Dong was determined to cut off Tang San's arms, then her body would inevitably knock against the Sea God Trident. As for what effect that would have, Bibi Dong didn't know, and she absolutely didn't want to know. The golden rhombic gem suddenly flared with light on the Sea God Trident, intense golden light instantly isolating Tang San from Bibi Dong's death domain. Just as Tang San grasped the Sea God Trident and prepared to again escape with teleportation, suddenly, he discovered that he couldn't move. Without any warning, his whole body was paralyzed, as if petrified. What shocked him the most was that the energy that made him unable to move didn't come from Bibi Dong, but rather that golden light scattered by the Sea God Trident. This change completely exceeded Tang San's calculations. It felt like when he brought Xiao Wu to escape last time in Stardo Great Forest and met the man-faced demon spider, trapping him and Xiao Wu. Could it be the Stardo Great Forest was his nemesis? 
Before Tang San could think further, in just this moment, a bizarre change occurred. Tang San originally wanted to draw support from the Sea God Tridents fully erupting with evil breaking light to temporarily block BB Dong, then before he teleported, give her a purple god light and seriously injure her mental world with his not weaker than hers mental strength, keeping her from using true world again, and then again use teleportation to pull open the distance and hide with the vast sea barrier, then smoothly escape. But, that Rumbik Sea God's heart on the Sea God Trident released light more intense than Tang San anticipated, not only fixing Tang San in place, but simultaneously that intense light also made BB Dong give a cry of surprise, giving her no choice but rely on the strength of her lower limbs to shoot back. At the same time that green eye on her forehead also closed, again turning into a spider web pattern, transforming into a green light shield, just managing to resist that extremely intense sea god's light. But even so, her green shield was quickly melting. The other four title Doluo catching up were also all scared stupid by the dazzling golden light from the sea god trident. They also couldn't keep their steps from slowing. Tang San's entire body had now turned completely golden, golden misty brilliance soaring from him like flame. Behind him, an enormous golden silhouette slowly appeared, light and shadow played, three times Tang San's height, one could vaguely see a golden armored human. At the same time the splendorous golden light was filled with endless restoring force, enveloping the full body armor besides the face, and the face was completely illusory and couldn't be clearly seen. This is... Bibi Dong's heart suddenly sank, and formidable pressure appearing in her heart without reason. Right now, she couldn't spare any attention for the business with the two spirit beasts. The golden flame that suddenly appeared on Tang San made her for the first time feel a threat to her life. Even though Tang San's body was completely immobile, his mental strength wasn't restrained, and through these senses he could also see the strange sight of himself. This wasn't the first time these circumstances appeared, last time was when he drew the sea god trident. Only this time, the silhouette behind him was even more clear. At this moment, that golden silhouetted behind Tang San suddenly took a step forward, passing through Tang San, arriving in front of him. With a soft wave of its right hand, that 108,000 Jin heavy sea god trident fell into its giant palm. With a shake of its hand, the trident was immediately also rendered in that golden flame, and moreover grew to three times its size, matching that golden silhouette. A deep and resounding bold voice, filled with dignity, echoed in Tang San's mind. I moved unhindered in the Duluo water world for more than a millennium, obtaining the sea god's seat. Creating the golden thirteen halberds one, sweeping unequaled across the seas. Now I impart to you the first three, I will only use them once. First form, unfixed storm two dot. As the voice reverberated in Tang San's mind, that golden figure took another step forward. As this step fell, everything in the surroundings instantly became brilliantly golden. Even all the plants seemed like forged from gold that was a golden light mist. The sea god trident rose in the hand of that figure, dexterously sweeping out, bringing one dazzlingly beautiful golden ring of light after another, each golden ring seemed disorderly and messy, but they moved towards an enveloped BB Dong as if they had eyes. Within this golden mist, BB Dong discovered to her shock that her death domain had completely lost effect, and basically couldn't be released outside. At the same time, her mental strength was also pushed back by a formidable pressure until it couldn't stretch beyond her body. She could only use her eyes to observe her surroundings. Watching those rings of golden light head on, cold light burned in Bibi Dong's eyes. Her red sixth spirit ring flashed, and the dim green light instantly turned emerald, making her malicious looking spirit avatar form turn the color of jade. The two jade like giant sickled rose simultaneously, and a speck of green light spread out in a flash, becoming a bright sharp edge, slanted, crisscross chopping out, an immense forked ripple shot straight for that golden figure. As that jade-like ripple of light met with the golden rings released from the sea god trident, there was unexpectedly no collision, they only passed through each other. The golden light still headed towards BB Dong and the other four, while that jade-colored light also cut straight at the golden figure. Absolutely don't underestimate this faint light. As a hundred thousand year spirit ability, with the backing of BB Dong's 99 ranks of spirit power, how could its power be ordinary? This hundred thousand year sixth spirit ability was named Everlasting Wound physical defenses were ineffective against it, and energy defenses reduced 50%. If it hit, the wound would spread endlessly, and could only be resisted with spirit power, until the spirit power was exhausted and you died. No matter where it hit, it was fatal. It was one of Bibi Dong's most powerful single target attacks. The other four title Doluo weren't staying idle either. Confronting that golden light, 
in their spirit avatar forms, they all took out at least their eighth spirit abilities and attacked. But their attacks were just like Bibi Dong's everlasting wound, they couldn't counteract the golden light, and rather directly shot at the golden figure. At this moment, that deep voice again echoed in Tang San's mind. Unfixed storm, attack and defense united, the only restraining ability of the golden thirteen halberds, and also the strongest restraining ability. If the target is hit, no matter how strong, for eight seconds they cannot move. The sea god trident seemed to come alive in the hands of that golden figure. As the everlasting wound reached it, it nimbly produced yet another golden ring of light. The light mainly emanated from the trident's blades, and within the ring appeared a faintly golden barrier, and just like a stain washed in sea water, Bibi Dong's powerful ability was unexpectedly directly erased. Yes, it felt like it was erased. Next, the sea god trident drew another four rings of light, easily erasing the other four title Duluo's attacks. Tang Sen's eyes opened wide, using all his mental power, wholeheartedly sensing each move that golden figure made, and moreover deeply sensing the energy waves within. As that golden shadow relied on the sea god trident to easily block the attacks of five title Duluo, he finally understood why this unfixed storm was said to be attack and defense united. Seeing her attack unexpectedly being ineffective, and that illusory golden ring already in front of her, Bibi Dong couldn't help changing expression. In that instant she made her response. Advancing instead of retreating, she instead charged towards that golden light, and at the same time, her body changed in a way that left Tang San dumbstruck. The originally dark green body emanating green mist, instantly turned purple, and her whole form also changed. Changing from the soul-eating spider emperor avatar to death spider emperor avatar, and the seven spirit rings naturally also became nine. Tang San's shock at this scene was obvious. In this world, there were only two known twin spirit masters, one was him, and the other was Bibi Dong. This was naturally also the first time Tang San saw the real applications of twin spirits in battle. Bibi Dong actually succeeded in spirit avatar change, completely exceeding the common sense of spirit use. Under ordinary circumstances, she should first have withdrawn the soul-eating spider emperor avatar, and then changed spirits, and then launched the death spider emperor avatar. But she directly omitted the middle steps, completing the switch. Like this, she could switch over to using the death spider emperor abilities without pause. Tang San didn't know how Bibi Dong did it, but also having twin spirits, since Bibi Dong could do it, then in theory, it should be possible for him too. Along with the spirit avatar changing, Bibi Dong's ninth spirit ring flared, and her entire body was covered with a layer of bizarre purple magic lines. And the next moment, those golden rings of light enveloped her and the other four title Duluo. The four title Duluo were completely frozen, and Bibi Dong also directly fell from the air, each of their expressions turning dull, their auras completely suppressed. Even though their spirits and spirit rings remained, they were still motionless and couldn't even struggle. Each person was enveloped by a golden misty halo. Tang San drew a cold breath, such a powerful control ability. To be able to simultaneously seal four title Duluo plus a peak Duluo, the Sea God Trident's true ability, the Golden Thirteen Halberts, were unexpectedly so powerful. According to what the voice in his mind said, these five people would actually be locked in place for eight seconds. In a life and death battle, eight seconds was far too much, whether escaping or launching attacks, it would undoubtedly give the absolute initiative. There was also no need to doubt the effect of this ability when working together with others. Even more so when this unfixed storm combined attack and defense, the opponents basically couldn't defend against those rings of light, they could only dodge. And he could also rely on the sea god trident to dissolve the enemy's attacks. It could simply be described as a divine ability. Even a hundred thousand year ninth spirit ability might only reach this level. Just as Tang San was feeling shocked, that golden figure moved again. Golden Thirteen Halberts, Second Form, Millennial Space. The golden figure leapt up, turning into countless golden lights, as dazzling as golden clouds of light. The golden clouds directly enveloped the five people, the majority surrounding Bibi Dong, with unprecedented size. Group Attack Ability Tang San immediately thought of these words. Large quantities of information constantly entered his mind through his mental power, and he did his utmost to memorize it, for fear of missing anything. With a loud explosion, that white expanse of golden clouds detonated practically simultaneously, enveloping the five like a flood of mercury. In that violent explosion each of them suffered a powerful attack, and the four title Duluo madly vomited blood, thrown high into the air by that golden cloud explosion, falling far away. 
if they weren't dead they'd still be seriously injured. Purple magic lines roamed all over BB Dong's body right now, forming a layer of purple defense. But as that enormous golden cloud detonated with a heaven-shaking explosion, she was still equally thrown out. Her expression wasn't visible under her spirit avatar, but from the large amounts of purple liquid the Death Spider Emperor spit out, she was clearly injured. Unfortunately, not enough energy. The dignified voice was regretful, even though this one attack had seriously injured five powerful title Dolo at once, he was still very dissatisfied. But, his voice at once grew stronger. Golden 13 Halberts, third form, one goes without return. But seeing that golden figure instantly spin once in midair, the sea god trident in its hand also shooting out a half illusory golden light, as if cutting open the sky, the light containing an illusory distortion already reached BB Dong. This attack was somewhat similar to the all-out strike Tang San used before. But without a doubt, it was way more powerful. At least five times that of Tang San's attack. And BB Dong was currently still within the eight-second restraint of the unfixed storm, basically unable to move. With an explosive pop, under the brilliantly golden sea god trident, BB Dong's body actually burst into countless fragments, spraying in all directions. The intense golden light shot straight ahead for a kilometer, and where it passed, everything turned to golden specks of light and disappeared. Seeing a single attack like this left Tang San stupefied. The golden light vanished, and the golden trident once again returned to Tang San's grasp, turning back to black. The dignified voice became fuzzy. Hold well these first three forms, do not fear for self-defense, meeting god-level opponents, unfixed storm's restraint will be curtailed, but will be no less than three seconds. Remember, remember. Then when can I learn the next ten forms? Tang San shouted inwardly. Do not be greedy, the day you become sea god, is the moment to learn the golden thirteen halberds. That person hasn't died, she possesses abilities making her body undying, unless you inherit the seat of a god, you can never kill her. But she is also infected by my golden divine power, she will need at least an hour to be as before after recovering. You can leave now. Remember, don't disgrace my golden thirteen halberds. One golden 13 halberds, the last character used alone means halberd, but is also a component of trident which translates as three-pronged halberd. Two unfixed storm, without set wind and waves. It finish at here. All girls and guys, comments likes, or no updates. Comments likes shares subscribes. See ya.